<laughs> South Valley Regional Ooh. Airport. Let's get the Honest. updated weather observation. One eight five seven Zulu weather. Wind one five zero at one six gust two two. Visibility one zero. Clear below one two thousand. Temperature eight Celsius. Dew point one altimeter two nine eight one. All right, folks, Corey, Robin here. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful sunny day here in Salt Lake City, Utah. It is windy. Practicing my crosswind taxiing technique this morning. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider becoming a, a member. Click down on the join button down below for more information on that awesome stuff. Click that subscribe button. We have a kick butt year ahead of us, you and me. Let's ride. All right, just landed out here. It is so windy that I had to record this segment in here. Here comes Troy. This is really ridiculously windy. Let's see if we can get him. There's the area is way out there. Ghost is getting fucked around in this wind. Yeah! Woo! He's gonna be on approach for about five minutes in this wind. I was indicating 55 miles an hour, touched down, rolled maybe five feet. So cool. <laughs> and he's way out there. Airplane's rolling. My dang airplane's rolling away. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so freaking cold. 35, 40 mile an hour wind. And it's maybe, I don't know, 35 degrees. I'm sorry if the camera's really shaky, but it is freaking freezing right now. I am sorry about the shaky camera. Holy cow, it's cold. <laughs> All right, I gotta get back in the airplane. I'm freezing, but this is fun. Heck yeah, what a day! Decal, it's cold out there. All right, I'm gonna see if I can grab my camera and film Troy. All right, I'll film your takeoff if you want. What do you think? Do I just go straight ahead? Oh, yeah, for sure. I would. You'll be off the ground in 10 feet. All right, okay. Here I go. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, just head west. I'll uh, follow you. Roger that. I'll fly sideways. How long was my roll? Um, I think you rolled maybe a hundred feet, but it's just because you came in fast, which is the right thing to do in wind, so I think you did great. But a hundred feet's pretty short. I was 42 or 43 when I touched down. Yeah, it's just amazing. These airplanes are so capable. It's so much fun. Yeah, so yeah, it's fun. This kind of flying is enjoyable. Yeah, what uh, what got you into flying? You know, I've always loved it. You know, I soloed when I was 16, so I've always been into flying and loving airplanes. When I when I got my business going, I bought a Comanche. Um, I, I don't know, I've just always loved it. Yeah, me too. I was always the kid that would. No matter what you're doing, if an airplane flew over you, just stop and watch. Oh yeah, for real. It is so much fun. I love it. And it's it's really cool, you know, all the social media stuff that Mike and Trent and Jason and me and everybody's doing. There's tons of people like Jughead Council. Just get tons of people excited about aviation right now. It's really fun to see it. Do you remember that one video where you uh, somebody said, I want to get my husband a flight for his birthday or for Father's Day? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. 
That was his brother's daughter's son. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> Man, it is such a small world. That is so cool. <laughs> it is legit. I'm ready to call it a day if you are. Yeah, we call it. I love Troy, man. He's so much fun to fly with. He's got that that uh, exuberance and zest for it. Like every time I want to go flying, if he's available, he's like, yeah, game on. Let's go. Thanks for coming out. This is fun. Even though it was a little sporty, I sure enjoyed it. Oh, I did too. I, I love getting up in the air. It's fun to fly together. I appreciate you doing that. Uh, you're, you're quickly becoming one of my favorite flying buddies, bro. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, see you, brother. All right, man, bye. All right, I'll uh, tell you the story about how I got a super interested in aviation. It's kind of a fun story. I really like my aviation journey story. And, you know, one thing I'd like to encourage all you guys to do is jump down in the comments below and share with me and all the other viewers your aviation story. I'd love to hear about whether you're pilot or not or whether you're what kind of aviation you're interested in. I'd love to hear about it. All right. So when I was in second grade, I had a teacher. Her name was Mrs. DeVore. Really cool. Um, really cool teacher. I, I remember her vividly. Uh, for many reasons, which I won't get into on the video. You can guess, I guess, in the comments below, but uh, needless to say, I was a rambunctious uh, little second grader. But uh, we were assigned to do an essay, and the only rule was, and it was like really short. I mean, we're in second grade. You can barely write, let alone write an essay. So it was like 200 words. Like It's like a, a paragraph or two, so not a big deal. But we had to write something about World War II. I think it might have been some anniversary of something. I can't really remember a lot of the details, but I remember back then I had Encyclopedia Britannica in the house, and I and I was looking under World War II, and I was reading, and I saw an airplane picture, and it was a picture of the P-51 Mustang, and it happened to be a, a B model, you know, with the, uh, not the bubble canopy, it kind of had the sliding, rear slider canopy. I was like, oh, what's that? And I read the caption. I, I, I looked up the P-51 Mustang specifically, and it told the story of how the, uh, the war department was concerned about the performance of the P-40 Warhawk and the other aircraft in the fleet, that it just wasn't long range enough to do the long range fighter escort for the bombers in the European theater. If I remember right, and you can correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong, because I'm sure that there's better historians about the P-51 Mustang than me, but I think that from the time that the, the War Department placed the order to the first test flight of the P-51, it was 110 days. And that, that short time frame, when I was a kid, was fathomable to me. I would ask my mom, Mom, how long is 110 days? And she said, well, it's about, it's, it's less than half a year. And I was just like super like, wow, they, they built an airplane, designed it, built it, and test flew it in that really, really short period of time. And it became one of the most iconic airplanes in history. Not just in the war, in history. Honestly, I just really loved the P-51. And that was it for me. I was hooked on aviation from the time I was in second grade. And that's my aviation story. Man, every time I think about that, I'm just so thankful. I am thankful for the education system and for that photograph in the Encyclopedia Britannica. And I don't know how people get, I don't know what your story is, but I'd really love to hear it. Get down in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks for hanging out with Troy and me for the afternoon in this really, whoa, jeez, really freaking bumpy, uh, blustery 40 mile an hour wind day.